You ever get one of those like text the backers? You just keep replying, they keep replying. That's an open loop. Just like tasks, projects, all these things that you have on that take up your brain space all the time. Well today, I'm gonna show you how to close the loop. So come in the studio and check it out. Opening loops can be painful. One of the best ways to not have to close so many loops and have your brain free is to just not open them in the first place. And that's not that's thinking about the projects that you wanna do, the things you maybe wanna achieve, the different um, tasks and redesigning your website, all these different things that you potentially one day maybe wanna do. Once you set that as a project and you're not actually gonna action that, that's an open loop. That's something you're going to have to, oh, what do we got here? Ah, all right, one sec. Okay, where was I? All right, so you, you open the projects, you open those loops, the things that you potentially want to work on, but once you do that, you're going to have to wrap them up at some point. You're going to have to close the loops. You have to get that. Ah, oh, it just doesn't end, does it? All right, I might have to put that one on silent. I might have to just close this loop. Just put this loop on pause. You need to close the project. You need to not have that sitting on your list. You need to make sure that you're wrapping it up and you never have to think about it again. That is the key to a closed loop. It never has to be thought of, it never has to be actioned, it doesn't need a follow up, it is done, it's finished, it's over, loop closed. So really there's only a certain amount of things that you can actually have on your plate at one time. Uh, there is a bit of a study that goes to show that there's five to eight things that your brain can store at one, at one point. So your conscious thought can only be on five to eight actual things. How many things do you have on your plate at the moment? Can you remember to keep them all in one place? So closing the loops and literally having less on is the way to be more productive, it's the way to get things, more things done and to free up your mind for the creative task at hand. According to David Allen, anything pulling at your attention that doesn't belong where it is... Oh, just got a call. <laughs> um, <clears throat> you wouldn't believe it, but I'm actually just recording a video about closing the loops, and it's recording right now. Can I give you a bus back? <laughs> All right, perfect. This actually fits beautifully in with the, the content. David Allen from Getting Things Done uh, talks about the GTD system. Uh, where it's all about getting things done and it's all about closing the loops, which is absolutely fantastic. It's a, it's a great productivity method. There are quite a few steps there, uh, which there are some parts that I, I do disagree with and I have adapted uh, to suit uh, my way of working. And one of the things that I think is really important is uh, where David Allen talks about capturing all the different open loops. And I think it's absolutely fantastic for getting things out of your head and into like a calendar or into like what he calls a tickler file for things that are happening in the future. I think that's absolutely great but one word of caution there and something that I'm definitely practicing uh, is be careful of the loops that you open the more loops that you open that you may not intentionally be closing you're not going to actually action those things that creates more stress that actually creates another open loop that you have to action again later so if you put less on your to-do list if you just create less open loops you have less to close so as you're thinking about your projects you're thinking about your things to do does it even need to be anywhere? Get it out of your head, put it somewhere, but does it really need to be actioned? In some cases, it's better to just take that idea, take that task, throw it in the bin. Done, loop closed, never think about it, never worry about it again. There's a saying about inbox zero. What about zero inbox? What about just not receiving so many messages? What if you just unsubscribe from all of those things? Not about managing the mess and managing the noise. It's literally about reducing the noise, reducing the number of emails that you get, reducing the number of messages, reducing the number of calls, reducing the amount of tasks on your to-do list and reducing the number of projects. Only by having less to manage are you gonna really be able to free up your mind and free up your creativity. Someone was like, messaged me on Skype, hey, do you have a quick sec so I can uh, test the, the video settings? And I was like, no, <laughs> I just, I, I don't. I mean, once, once you get into that, once you start that, once you say yes, then um, you're obliged to, to do the thing. So just say no and just don't do the thing. Basically, you don't have to. In your project management tool, in your to-do list tool, look at your projects and get rid of the ones that you aren't actioning. Do you have any in there, any tasks that have been sitting in there for so long? Go in there and delete them. Get them out of your life, never think about them again. Good, I feel much better now. Cool, loop closed on that chapter. One of the biggest open loop creators is the phone as well. 
There are so many apps, there are so many different red dots, your phone looks like it has chicken pox sometimes, uh, and you want to be able to wrap those things up. Every time you look at that red dot, every time you're seeing that there's something else to do, you need to action that, and that's taking precious brain space. Go into your notifications for that app. If you're not actioning it, just get rid of those notifications. Don't worry about like, oh, but maybe I'll get notified about that and I'll action that later. Have an honest look at yourself, have an honest look at your time and where you're spending it and just turn it off, right? If you really need it, if it really needs to be done, it will get done. So just get it out of your life and you don't have to think about it. Notifications off. Whoop, one sec. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up uh, and I'd love to know what are your productivity tips? What are your go-to things to help you get things done? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to learn from you. As well, what would you like to learn next? I'd love to make some more how-to content to help you grow your business. Uh, click the subscribe button and the little bell notification icon to be notified about fantastic new videos that we have coming up for you. Until next time, I'm Simon Kelly. Go Elevate.